Hello everybody, I am so happy that you are here. This is another video in my play along journal where I take you along for every step of the way as I work through two handmade art journals. Um, if you missed the first videos, uh, you can start watching now or you can go back and watch all of those. They're all in a playlist. So this is going to be another short, really simple spread. Um, I love to mix in those more simple spreads with the complex ones. And um, I think that just really keeps things interesting as you move throughout your art journal. So I started on the left side of the page um, since I knew I was going to be adding watercolor. Um, the right side of the page is watercolor paper so I already know that it's going to take those watercolors and the excess water really well. Otherwise I usually try to be really conscious of adding too much water inside the art journal because it seeps through to all of the other pages. To account for this, I just did a really thin layer of clear gesso on the left side before getting started and hit that with the heat gun so it dries. That way it takes the excess water um, pretty well. It's still not going to act like watercolor paper, but at least it won't seep through as much to the other side. And I'm actually really okay with um, the different papers acting differently than a watercolor paper. I find it very interesting to use watercolor on all sorts of different paper. And that way you can see how it um, adapts and changes to the texture of the paper. I added a little bit of another color, that orangey color in there, let it blend a little bit with the pink, and then added in some really fun um, splash uh, splatter marks. So I just want this to be a carefree spread, and this spread looks actually a lot different than the other spreads in this um, journal so far. I'm trying to uh, urge myself to use more colors. The journal is so teal all over itself that that makes me want to use colors um, that are very similar to teal. I, I work with a limited color palette very well and it's actually more of a struggle for me to use a lot of different colors all together. So I know a lot of people are actually the opposite way where a limited color palette is more difficult for them. So I'm challenging myself to use a bunch more different colors in this journal and that way it kind of pushes the boundaries a little bit. Um, still a lot of the spreads are in my comfort zone but uh, since I love so much color I want to practice using it all together and seeing how that goes. I'm adding in some acrylic paints now um, in the coordinating colors with the pink. This is a little bit of a peachy color. Don't let um, mixing your supplies be intimidating intimidating to you. So just practice, experiment, see how things work together, um, see if things play nice or if you have to maybe put a um, coat of clear gesso on before doing things. I think it's all about play and experimentation and seeing where that playtime can lead you. I find some of my favorite techniques by letting loose and letting go of the expectations. This is not always easy and sometimes you kind of have to warm up to it. Um, do a little bit in a journal that you really don't care about maybe first or on a loose sheet of paper so that if you hate it you can throw it away. Or the magic part about mixed media is you can always use white gesso over whatever you're doing and it's like a blank slate. So don't let the fear of trying something new stop you from even playing in the first place. I do want to bring a little bit of that teal back in just to tie everything together. You see all the fabric bits around the outside and so I think it's nice to kind of bring that color back in. I want this um, to be quite textured and so I'm putting it on with my finger and putting it on a little bit thicker than I maybe normally would. I'm definitely going to have to make sure that it dries completely. Um, hit that with the heat gun before closing the journal and moving on to the next page. I hope that you guys love today's spread and that you're loving this series. I'm loving playing along with all of you. Make sure to tag me and use the hashtag uh, BBHenryPlayAlong over on Instagram so I can see your work. I hope that you guys love this video. Can't wait to see you next time. Have a good one.